Hey guys, I hope you're good. I've had a pretty average, non-exciting day. Been to work. Oh, hello. And I've done all of my Christmas food shopping, which came to like 15 quid. Bonus of living on your own. I've got all my presents as well that I need to give. They're all wrapped up and ready to go. So I really want to know what you all have planned for Christmas. Let me know in the comments below. My plan is to have a really long lion eat all of the junk food that I've bought today and watch Doctor Who. Oh, I'm so excited for Jodie Whittaker. I've never watched a lot of TV and since moving onto the boat I don't watch it at all. The one exception is Doctor Who. And what I'm going to talk to you about in my video today is TV licenses and whether you need one if you're living on a boat. I know about half of you are not from the UK so I'll quickly whiz through what a TV license is and who needs one and who doesn't. So I'm sure most of you have heard of the BBC that's the British Broadcasting Corporation and they provide amongst other things television channels you've got terrestrial television and then you've got the other channels that you have to pay extra for but every TV in the UK comes with five basic channels and two of those are BBC channels. There is no advertising on the BBC so they get their revenue from licensing fees and their rules state that if you are going to watch or record live television then you need a TV license. So basically what that means is turn the television on, watch whatever's on, you need to pay for that or if you record something from live TV you know like back in the day we'd do it on VHS do it on like your digi boxes now you have to pay for that and the BBC has a catch-up service online and an app called the iPlayer and you need a TV license to watch that if you get your television from a satellite or cable provider you still have to pay a TV license. Even if you don't watch BBC channels you still need to have a TV license. Also it doesn't matter what you watch the television on whether it be a TV, a computer, a laptop, mobile phone, a tablet, you still need a TV license. There are some exclusions for example, if you're over 75, then you don't need to pay. If you are blind or severely visually impaired, then you get a 50% reduction. You get a massive reduction if you only have a black and white television. And I mentioned the iPlayer. If you're going to use other catch-up services from other ch channels, or you're going to watch something like Netflix or YouTube, then you do not need a television license. So do you need to have one if you're living on a boat? Well, that all depends on whether you live on your boat or not. Another exclusion to needing to pay for a TV license is for a second home, holiday home, including boats, static caravans, chalets, camper vans. And that exclusion is only if that is a second home and you don't live there all the time. And the rule for that is that you will be covered by the license in your main residence and you won't be watching television in your main home and the holiday home at the same time. So if you keep a boat, whether it's moored or whether you're cruising but it is not your main residence then you don't need a t television license you can use the TV license from your main home and that will cover you when you're on your boat however the vast majority of 
people that have a boat in the UK are now using them as their main residence. And in that situation, you do need to have a TV licence. Whether you are on a residential mooring or if you're a continuous cruiser, if you are living on the boat, then the rules say that you need to have a TV licence. If you're caught without one, you can be fined a thousand pounds. It is illegal to watch television without a licence. Obviously, I would never say on the internet that I watch television illegally because I don't and obviously I wouldn't say on the internet how you can avoid being fined a thousand pound by the BBC. What I will say is that the BBC do send inspectors to check if people have a licence or not. They use various devices to detect if you're watching television but the main way that they catch people without a license is that they have a database of addresses and any address that doesn't have a tv license they'll send a letter to them i believe i don't know that they will send a, f a few letters a year like quarterly and if they don't get a response to that but they believe that you require a TV license then they can send somebody to your address. They have no right of access to your address without a warrant and obviously if you don't receive the letter you can't respond to it and if you receive a letter at your address which is not addressed to you then you shouldn't be opening it, you should return it to sender. But also there is another funny anomaly to the TV licensing rules. According to their website, you do not need to have a TV licence if you are watching live or recorded television on any device which is powered solely by its own internal battery. My interpretation of that, and this opinion is supported by some other websites, is that that could include tablets, mobile phones, laptops, which you are not charging at the same time as viewing your television. I will leave links in the description to the TV licensing website and also to Money Supermarket where I read an interpretation of that. So to sum up, do you need a TV license on a boat? Probably. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll continue to make daily videos up until Christmas Eve. Clawing me. Tomorrow's my last day at work. I'll have to do something to celebrate. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it, don't forget to subscribe. You know the deal. Okay, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye. Been hiding for the whole video. Mm-hmm.